Okay, this is a quick video on how to use SketchUp. Now, in a minute I'm going to show you how to access a couple of the tutorials which you'll need to be to go through to in order to uh, get used to a few of the buttons. Um, now, SketchUp, first off, was a little program which was made by Google pretty much to build buildings for the um, 3D Google Earth. Now, I'm just going to go through a couple of things because what you're going to be expected to do this year is you're going to be expected to build a building um, off a house plan using SketchUp. Okay, and hopefully you'll see that it's a nice and easy way of visualising uh, things that you may want to build in the future. Okay, so first off, the thing I usually do first off is I get rid of this guy here. He irritates me. The next thing I do is I'll show you is um, just a couple of the little buttons that you'll be using that you'll, you'll see in a second. You've got ones here for drawing shapes. Okay, then you have ones here for moving things around. Okay. Now, in order to get used to these buttons, you should do a few tutorials. So I'll show you first off how to get to those. Okay, get into Google and type in SketchUp. Do a Google search search on that, and you'll see this comes up here. Um, now, if you go to Training, and from Training, once this loads up in this left-hand tab here, you go to Self-Paced Tutorials. You'll see. A number of tutorials, these are the three that I'd mainly go for. Start a drawing part one, start a drawing part two, start a drawing part three. And you download these directly, okay? So if you go to open, yeah, this here will pop up. Now what you do here is you follow, read what's on the screen and then go tab by tab. These tabs are like different pages, okay? and it will tell you different things. What eventually it will do is it will get you building a little house just in order to get used to the buttons. Once you finish this tutorial, okay, go back, go to the second tutorial, then go to the third tutorial. Okay? Now once you've done those, what we'll do is I'll just show you a couple of, uh, just get used to a few of these other little buttons. So go ahead and do the other tutorials and then come back to this. Okay, so hopefully you've done those tutorials. Now, so you should be a right able to draw a box. Now what you may notice when you're drawing the box is you can get these guys exact by when you're drawing the box you can actually just write in how big you want it. I want this one here, 8,000 by 10,000. And you'll see the little numbers coming in the right hand bottom of the screen there. Okay, there you go. Now, I'll rotate this a little bit. Then what I want to do is I want to drag this up, 2100. So I click on it, I drag it up, and I write 2100, I hit enter, and it drags it up that much. Now, one of the things you will be wanting to use with SketchUp, because you want to be really, very really precise, is you want to be using this tape measure here. Okay, I'll click on it. And again, what it allows you to do is it allows you to measure in certain amounts. You can get rid of these a little bit later just by hiding them. So I click, I drag, I type in 90 and I've gone in 90 mil. Generally what I do, okay, so I say I want to come 3,600 mil in. If I try to get it exact, I end up taking a long, long time, and it's very, very annoying. Okay, so what I do is I usually drag it, 3,600, hit enter. Now if you make a mistake, control Z, uh, it's exactly like any other program, control Z miraculously undoes any mistakes. Okay, uh, usually what I do is I go right around this building when I start off a building and I'd start actually typing in all the little um, little measurements okay now once you've done that you may then want to go in you may want to use that paint bucket to color things in and I'll just show you one other little thing that you may want to do which is this okay you may want to start importing things like doors and I'll show you how to do that right now now what you do is you go File, 3D Warehouse, Get Models. Now the 3D Warehouse for SketchUp is like a big Bunnings warehouse for uh, SketchUp models, okay? When people make them, they um, they put them up there, okay? The people who have a lot of time on their hands are a wonderful thing sometimes, okay? And these guys here will build all sorts of things that you can use in your SketchUp model, just to print it up a bit and make it look a bit better. Okay, so 3D Warehouse is open finally. And I'll say I want to put in a door. Okay, I'll type in door. 
and a whole stack of doors will now come up okay you'll see them in a second here we go all right lots and lots of doors I'll download one of these directly right this one okay so we go down and download model and there it is just here okay I'll put it just on the uh, line there now what you'll notice is straight away it's facing the wrong way and um, it probably needs to be resized so what I do is I place it and I just move in comparison to it now selecting it I go to this one here rotate okay now if I go to rotate and then travel along here what I can do now is I can rotate this okay so I've moved it okay so that's a that's a three click sort of thing one where you want to start rotating it from the next one where you want to actually along the axis you want to move it and then you move it around okay that does take a little bit of getting used to so I'll rotate myself around now to have a look now I want to place this door I'll draw a little opening where I want to place it just here so I draw my rectangle I select that area where the door is going to go and I delete it now I want to place this door so what I do is I go to this button here this move copy button okay and what it does is it moves this door across so I grab it and I move it corner to corner now occasionally you're going to have to move a little bit in order to uh, accommodate what you're doing okay so I'll go there and I'll move okay okay and as you'll see it's snapped in there now what I have to do is I have to resize this door because as you can see it doesn't quite fit to do that I go to this button just here okay I click on that and then when I click on my door you're going to see that I'm able to resize it so I want to resize it that way so it fits and this way so it fits there you go now I have a door that fits in the opening it was uh, meant for okay obviously you have to choose your model very very carefully sometimes some models are better than other models some models look a bit weird like this will be like any other thing when you drag it sideways when you pull it sideways it will actually make it a little bit wider but it won't necessarily do it in proportion so it can end up looking a little bit weird you want to choose your door okay um, anyway hopefully you can get all of that um, I do recommend doing the tutorials you will have to know how to use that uh, rec working out the tape measure button uh, it is worth working out how to import things but it's not uh, that's not critical anyway good luck with all that see ya